going to talk about Pure Mind, Pure Land. How do we take rebirth in Amidabha's Pure Land? We must have a pure mind. The pure mind is without afflictions and without attachments. It is our true mind, the compassionate mind. Today we will use three sutras to describe this pure mind. The Mimalakardi Sutra, the Awakening of Faith in Mahayana Shastra, and the Contemplation Sutra. It talks about three kinds of mind in all these three sutras. Let's first talk about the Mimalakardi Sutra. It says Bodhisattva can create their Buddha field or their Buddha land. What kind of Bodhisattva will create what kind of world? For example, a Bodhisattva with the mind of positive thoughts, when he attains enlightenment, living beings free of hypocrisy and deceit will be born in his Buddha field. So if a Bodhisattva's mind is always positive, he will not have anyone who comes and be negative and deceiving. If a Bodhisattva have the mind of high resolve, which means he really wants to be awakened and not be deluded anymore. When he attains enlightenment, living beings who have harvest merits and virtues because of their high resolve will be born in his Buddha field. Lastly, if a Bodhisattva has the mind of virtuous application. When he attains enlightenment, living beings live by all virtuous principles, will be born in his Buddha land. So what kind of people are surrounding us is all because of our mind. If we are always generous, we will attract generous people into our world. If we are always patient, we will attract people that are tolerant in our world. If we are always angry, then we attract bitter people in our world. It's all tantamount to our own mind. Nothing is beyond this cause and effect. The cause is our mind. So we should reside in our pure mind. Sharputta heard this. He thought to himself, Oh, Shakyamuni Buddha, the Buddha of the Saha world, he must have some impure minds because the world is so corrupted and impure. Our world right now. Then Buddha put his foot and his toe on the ground. All of a sudden, Sharputta, he sees the world that Buddha sees. Amazingly, the world is without any darkness or corruption is perfectly pure. Then he realized it's the mind of his that is impure, not the world. Now let's talk about the awakening of faith in Mahayana by Bodhisattva Asvagosha. He says we must cultivate the same three minds. First, we must cultivate the straightforward mind correctly meditate on the principle of suchness. Therefore, straightforward means without any impurity. Honestly, meditate on your true nature, the true suchness. Then we must have the mind of profoundness deep inside of our heart. It's not attached to the worldly experience only reside in our true nature. That's most profound. There is no limit to the joyful accumulation of all kinds of goodness. Our true nature is perfectly pure in its essential nature, but now we are full of defilements and impurities. We must clean off these impurities by constant cultivation. Get rid of our greed, anger, ignorance, and attachment, delusion about the world. Lastly, we must have the mind of great compassion. Great compassion is the mind of the Buddha. How do we know if we have the Buddha mind? When we have unconditional compassion, loving kindness 
for all sentient beings. The sixth patriarch of Zen Buddhism, Huinan, when he was first given the bowl and the robe by the fifth patriarch, people were jealous of him, chasing him. He had to hide for 15 whole years. He actually hid in a party of hunters. Occasionally, he would preach to them in a way that befitted their understanding. Sometimes they would ask him to watch their net. When he sees like creatures, he would set them free. When he cooked the meat in the pan, he would only eat the vegetables. Because he is a bodhisattva with great compassion, he's able to endure this kind of life for 15 years. He doesn't have any affliction. He doesn't feel suffering. He's completely pure and perfect in this kind of situation. As long as we have the pure mind, the living environment will be pure. Lastly, the Contemplation Sutra. This is really a Pure Land Sutra. It says we must also have these three minds. First, we must have the most sincere mind. When we chant Amitabha, we should have the utmost sincerity. This sincerity also means we sincerely respect all sentient beings because all sentient beings are future Buddhas. Do you respect all people around you as Buddhas? That's how a true cultivator of Pure Land Buddhism should be. Master Dao Zhen, she was a doctor when she was young. One day, a felon was in the hospital who was involved in a gunshot. Everybody was talking about him, but he was not her patient. While waiting for a patient's report, she started doing her evening recitation. After she finished, she prayed for the felon with the gunshot. After she opened her eyes, she noticed that Fallon was calling her. He said, you come help me and be my doctor. I am in great pain. My mind is very depressed and chaotic. The doctor said, I understand I would be too if I were you. I'm a Buddhist. Whenever I'm sad and bitter, I chant Amitabha. It always calms me down. Amitabha is most compassionate and equal. Chanting his name brings out our Buddha nature that is within all of us. She gave him a picture of the Buddha and chanting bee. The next day she came. Much to her surprise, the Buddha picture was stuck on the wall of the patient in the next bed. This gunshot patient said to her, I thought the new patient needs the Buddha picture and the Buddha bee more than I do. So I gave them to him. Can you please give me another Buddha bee? She was so touched because he's already a bodhisattva trying to save others. She actually gave him her own chanting bee. One day, the doctor was walking up the stairs in the hospital. She saw the back of two men. One is a police officer. One is this patient. His feet in chain, but his hands was holding the Buddha bee that she gave him. She paid respect to him. She knew that he did not need the chain anymore because his feet are already stepping on pure lotus flowers. The pure mind of the doctor saved this person's heart. No matter where he is, he is with Amitabha. So when we have the utmost sincere mind, we can touch the lives of everybody in our lives then we should have the mind of deep faith. Deep faith in Amitabha and our true nature. Think all the time that I have created immeasurable 
evil karma in all my lives of reincarnation. If such karma have formed the empty space in ten directions, will not contain it. Now I'm lucky, I'm a human who have heard the Dharma. I should single-mindedly chant Amitabha, seek rebirth in the Pure Land. Otherwise, I will keep reincarnating in the sixth path and immense sea of suffering without a way of liberation. We should really have deep faith in Amitabha and Pure Land Buddhism. Mostly, we have to have deep faith in our true nature, like the precious mirror. The mirror is now dirty. We need to polish off all the dust, that's all our afflictions and attachments. Then it will be clean. It will reflect everything clearly. Lastly, we should aspire rebirth by transferring merits. Do not chant Amitabha, seeking rebirth for ourselves. Every Amitabha is for all sentient beings. We have this way of transferring our merits to all sentient beings in the Dharma realm because they are all suffering and reincarnating. That's the heart of a Buddha, same as the great compassionate heart. This is what our Buddha mind, our Bodhi mind looks like. In Ten Thai Buddhism, it's called the threefold contemplation in one mind. Threefold contemplation, the void meditation, unreal meditation, and mean meditation all contain in our one true mind. Void meditation is understanding the emptiness of all things. When we have high resolve, want to be liberated, seeing things clearly, not be deluded and confused by the world. We have the profound mind to be liberated and we have deep faith in our true nature. When we deal with our personal affairs and business, we should have high watchfulness, not be swayed or confused by the external conditions. If we are having favorable conditions, we are not attached. In unfavorable conditions, we are not angry. Then we want to have the unreal meditation, which means we still have an unreal existence in the world. Even though everything is empty in nature, but we still have a life to live. Life of a Bodhisattva is to have virtue, great compassion, and chant for all sentient beings. Balance, emptiness, and existence, then it's the middle way, the mean. Then that's the mind of pure positive thoughts, straightforward mind, and most sincere mind. Why do we have to wait until our life is up to go to the pure land? It's just now having the three minds or one mind. Chanting Amitabha, it is already the pure land, right here, right now. Our lotus flower is already full bloom. Now is the New Year's. Hope everyone will make the resolve to build a pure land in your life right now. Then you will definitely go to Amitabha's Western Pure Land because your mind is in accordance with Amitabha's mind. In conclusion, it is your mind that becomes a Buddha. Nay, it is your mind that is indeed Buddha. Buddha is not Amitabha saving us. That's outside of our mind. The Buddha is you. When you have this mind, the pure mind, the pure Buddha essence, the pure self nature, you are the Buddha. It is your mind that is indeed Buddha. So that's the class for today. Thank you for listening. Amitabha.